we have uh, 24 volt 60 amp hours in nickel metal hydride D cells we have the um, BLDC motor controller and a test control okay so here is the centrifugal torque converter we have the electric hubcap motor motor controller of course and the actual torque converter and a chain drive to the differential and the actual converter we have these uh, slots in the outer drum and we have uh, plastic fingers on springs that go out and go into the slots and hit on the end and uh, here's a, a bigger slot from a hole that was already cut probably a better illustration so the fingers come out and the motor rotates and the fingers bounce off the drum and so the theory is that the five fingers hit the five slots in the drum simultaneously and presumably uh, start imparting hits of torque to the drum and we'll just uh, see how that goes we got it real easy here the wheel is jacked up and so we should be able to simply uh, start this the motor turning by putting the breaker on on the controller just got 24 volts should be enough for a test and Yeah, it works well enough with the wheel jacked up and so the drum is free to turn the wheel okay well the idea of the torque converter centrifugal seems to be there but the implementation seems to work to run the car we need it at least uh, 150 foot-pounds of torque if not 200 and what we actually have is and uh, as, while we're doing that we're shredding the plastic off the little fingers so they're not going into the slots far enough I think there are two basic problems. Uh, the first one is that uh, the metal springs, which uh, spring the fingers in and out, uh, are actually rubbing on the outside of the drum and preventing the fingers from springing into the slots as far as they're supposed to. The second problem is that the slots themselves are too narrow uh, so the when uh, the fingers are being held in as they go around the drum then they're able to uh, travel in a linear manner and and the tips start to come out they they won't come out very far in such a short distance so I think what needs to be done is that all the slots should be expanded to be like this one so that the fingers can uh, go travel in a straight line far enough to be uh, come out quite a ways and uh, this one just happened to be an existing hole and I was unable to make it like the others but I think the others need to be like this one and the uh, metal rubbing on the metal of course is why it was so loud so I think if we uh, re change the slots move the springs so that they're not on the outside here then uh, we may get some better results in the meantime it's just an example of how a torque centrifugal torque converter could work